Hey, hello everyone. I'm Cooch, and thank you for joining me in this edition of Cooch LaCream's Dollar Store Dreams. Today I'm going to be making a wall piece and taking you to a couple of different Dollar Trees. Starting out, I took a wreath ring I got from the Dollar Tree and I traced a circle around the second loop. After I finished tracing that circle, I used the razor knife and I began cutting the circle around it until it was completely cut out. After I cut it out, I used super glue and a glue gun. And first I took the super glue and put it all around and then the glue gun and made sure it was sealed to that wreath ring. Then I started putting clothes pins around the very last rung. I used the plastic to keep them together as I put them on so they wouldn't flip flop all over the place as I was putting them all around the entire outer loop of the wreath ring until I got a complete circle. Once I completed that, I started on the second ring. I interchanged clothes pins all the way around it. So one was on the second rung, one was on the third rung, one on the second, one on the third, over and over until I completed that all the way around. Stay tuned to see how this turns out. Now on to the Dollar Tree. Walking in, I immediately spotted these adorable paisley place settings. We have the cups and the bowls, the small plates, the pot holders. Oh, no small plates, just the big plates. And then we have some silver huge plates on the bottom. And then over here at this circular piece, we have a few different things on it. We've got those gnomes at the top. And then this catitude is so cool. For any Cincinnati Bearcats fans that are out there, that catitude has been a saying probably, I mean, well over 10 years, I bet. So that was really fun to see the catitude. Go Bearcats. Here we have some Mr. and Mrs. Trinket holders. And then underneath we have some glasses. It looks like for birthdays. And then future misses. So uh, some bridesmaid or bachelorette party um, glasses. Cheers. All different celebrations we're going to have on here. And then we have this frame, Mermaid in Training. That's very cute. And those bows are very fun colors. And then I believe in unicorns. Well, you know what? Who doesn't? <laughs> oh, it looks like those are shot glasses underneath the Mr. and Mrs. Trinkets. You know, it's harder to see when they're up close remembering the video. Back to my catitude sign, because yeah, that's just super cute. Once again, go Bearcats, University of Cincinnati. And then we're gonna work our way around to the next side. And it looks like we have some more of the stemless wine glasses. We've got congrats grad or highball glasses. Happy birthday. Bachelorette bash, fun, and some purple vases with another very pretty Dollar Tree flower display. Over here we have some more glasses with some cute sayings. Um, I was told there'd be wine, and happy birthday. It's my birthday month. Ha, ah, I love it, it's my birthday month. And then happy birthday in a beer stein type of glass. And more beer, less wine. <laughs> Cute. Happy hour ever after. And then I think happiness is homemade. Hello, gorgeous. 
class of confetti. Drink local. And then football shaped glasses. Some very cute hats. We have the lemons and the leaves, the pink palm trees and the bees. I should have picked up the lemon one to wear at the pool to start protecting my head in the summer here. I really need to start thinking about that. I'm getting old. If I see him again, I will definitely pick one of those up. And then some of the straw hats are very cute. And then this aisle was just full of celebrations for graduates. And the 4th of July, they're already starting to get stuff out for. So over here, we have some cap, uh, grad cap decorations. The tassel was worth the hassle. And reach for the stars. I guess you can put those on top of the hat. Congrats, graduate. And hooray, you did it. With some stars. And the balloon holder stands at the bottom. Some little grad hats made of the tinsel. Cute. And then congrats, graduate bags and lanyards and the flags that you can hang for decorating. Wall murals. And then a big, huge button. Congrats to the graduate decorations above with letters and caps and the signs that you hang and stretch. And there's one of those things you can, a photo props accessory kit, plastic banners, all kinds of things that you should get and stock up on now because these kinds of things go really quick. I picked up this frame while I was there. At the very end of the video, I'll have a picture in it to show you what it looks like. And then we have some plates and more bags, streamers, some table runners. And then on the other side, we are getting into the red, white, and blue. Paper plates, baskets, big bowls, big serving platters. Um, we have littler bowls, like cereal bowls and serving bowls. And then we have bags. We have these really cute USA and stars that you can hang on the back of your door, on a closet, just on a wall. Uh, pretty much anywhere you can just hang those. And then I became fascinated by this little thing. Uh, it just spins around on the flag with the lights on. It says USA on the side. I did not buy it, but I probably stood here for a good three minutes spinning this thing around because it was really cool. So I'm easily amused. What can I say? And then bold stripes, bright stars, brave hearts. Home of the free because of the brave. And some flags of different decorations, window clings. These are so cute for the summer at the pool. We have some cup holders. Get these quick, they will not last. You can put your beverage in them and it floats. It's a little seahorse floating beverage. And then there was goggles and swimwear. Not swimwear, but just swim goggles and balls and accessories for the pool. But really, I was all about these pool holder cups. Even though I don't have a pool. So I need to meet somebody with a pool and go back and get one of these. I love them. And they will not last long at all. Next, we have some paper straws that I saw at the Dollar Tree. I thought that was cool. They have them in red, green, yellow, and blue. I think there was 18 per pack for a dollar. <laughs> With the styrofoam cups right behind it. So, you know. Here we have some doubles. And then we have some magnets up. here that were really cute. We have clean and dirty and just plain clean black and, and white. Underneath we had a, a dog um, mm. that was clean and dirty. And then we had, I think, the pink was 
her turn and okay. his turn in the pink and black. And then the one underneath that said, did my chores okay. today. Did my chores and today. on the back of it, it says... I'll, I'll do, do them, them tomorrow. tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, pretty much. That one's for me every day. And then over here, we have all kinds of stuff uh, for your clothing and closets. We have lint rollers, those dryer balls. I got them, and I love them. These space saver hangers right next to it, I got some of those. There are the clothespins I used for my project. I used five and a half packs of them. And I believe there was 56 per pack. Along with mesh laundry bags. We have hanger bags. We have the storage bags of all shapes. And some non-woven and mesh laundry bags. We have a hanging moth cake. And then some lint brushes and over-the-door hangers. Which I have most of those. And then those over the drawer hangers. And some laundry baskets with some window clingers. And some storage space savers of the fabric boxes. With all kinds of plastic hangers. Because, you know, there are no more wire hangers in the world. <laughs> and then we have those generic version of the joy hangers the non-slip hangers they come two to a pack and they were a dollar each that's a pretty cool find that they have those in now and then they also had these underneath for scarves that i bought a couple of those in the blue on this trip I had never seen anything like that at the Dollar Tree, so I was pretty excited about that. I get so excited by the little things, what can I say? You know? <laughs> so, again, that was a fun find, and I'm sure if I went back to that Dollar Tree now, those would be totally gone. And I was there, I think, last Monday when I filmed this. More uh, storage bags. Those are the vacuum seal ones. And those were mothballs of all different kinds. We have some tools. And then more storage baskets. Here, I just took us through the tool mm -hmm. section really quick. Um, there's some screwdrivers. I need to get some of those plastic containers for some beads I just ordered. So hopefully I can find those. I didn't pick them up that day because I didn't know I'd need them. And then we have... I don't know. I think those are razors. Some more screwdrivers. Honestly, some of these tools, I don't know what they are. Carabiners, I think I know what those are. Gloves, little mini paint bread rollers, and bigger ones. We have some locks. Oh, then down at the bottom, the thing you put on the paint rollers. And I don't know what those brushes are for next to it. I didn't really know what these were, but look, shiny silver. And doorstop. Something people those. use to do something with. <laughs> caulk. And then we had some caulk over here. Of the braiding rope. And some rope. Uh, a little mini. And uh, it looks like a screwdriver set. set. It's interesting. Precision screwdriver set. Wire brushes. And some zip ties. I don't know. Oh, and the door stops. A uh, great door deal box. on the door stops. Along command. with what should be like the command. Tweezers or for um, yeah, tweezers, Velcro. Those are like the command hooks. I got some. I don't know if they'll be as good. I did get my super glue here, and it works great. It's the name brand super glue. Stuff for the home. It's just in the tiny packets. But if I get bigger packets, it always dries up on me. So those just kind of make more sense for me anyway. And they have all kinds of packing tape and duct tape. We've got some pillowcases, and they are silk. I bought the black and white one up here. or Well, not silk, satin, I'm sorry. They feel like silk. <laughs> but I bought those just to check it out, and it's fine. I don't use it for a pillow I sleep on. But then they've got the mattress um, 
hooks in the carpets, but those mattress hooks, I meant to say sheet hooks. And then all of these different rugs, little uh, rugs right here, I've got a future project coming up. I don't know when, but I will definitely be util utilizing these Dollar Tree rugs for it to make one big rug somehow. And then I just threw in the area where the rings are that I bought. That's what I purchased for the project to begin with. And then I found some more glasses in the store. Um, again, I was told there'd be wine. You know, they're always telling me there'll be wine. <laughs> Enjoy every moment. And then some beer steins and some wine glasses of different beveled types. And then we have some plain ones of the stemless wine or the highball. My dad would call them highball. I think now they call them stemless wine. All stemless wine might be thinner. I'm not sure. We've got some of the beer ones. Those glass bowls, they have plates also, and I love them. And I would love to get them, but I'm sure I'm going to break them. So I never do. And there's really cute jars that are beveled with a design. Very cute. And then we've got this mop over here. Dollar Tree is pretty cool because you can buy that stick for a dollar and then you can get all the attachments also for a dollar. So you've got the uh, dry mop head right here. It's microfiber and those are great. And then we've got a wet dry one over here that is supposed to mimic a Swiffer. So that's pretty cool. You can hook that on and use it wet or dry on it. And then they also had this attachment for it for a broom head. So they've got at least three different attachments I'm pretty sure I've seen other attachments at other Dollar Trees. I just can't remember what they are right now. And then they've got water bottles and all different sorts of supplies to clean the kitchen floors or the tile floors. Here we have some more bandanas. These are the hard crunchy ones. They're very colorful. I loved the leopard one. Should have gotten it. That one's pretty cute, too. Those behind it were the silky bandanas. And these are just all very colorful. Different bandanas. I'm sure once you wash them, they're not going to be as crunchy hard. But, you know, they're kind of hard when you buy them and you got to get them worn in. And they have more scarves back here. Those scarves are everywhere. And then in the mailing section, it's where I got the foam board. So I also found these magnets while I was there. Thought they were really cute. Sorry that I didn't do a wide shot on these filming. Pretty soon I should remember to get all wide shots in a whole video. Anyway, I thought these were cute with the smiley faces and the cats and the rock and roll. The kitties, I think. And the popcorn, kitties. and then we had the fish up and there on the top, the and the unicorn. These are all made by all a dollar a piece, and you got three or four yeah. magnets they in each hidden. set. Where nobody could see any of Very them. colorful. Just and then they the had all these now. different mailing supplies here. that you can see. Uh, we have the protective wrap. You can wrap around the glue sticks. These are the foam mounting squares and dots. And then foam mounting tape. And the packing tape staplers. I looked all over for that bubble wrap. I went to like $10 trees about a month ago when I did the corn video. Couldn't find it anywhere. And now there it is right when I don't need it anymore. And last, well, almost last, we are coming up on a Crayola display that had so much Crayola. Desk toppers kids can make. 
uh, solar system mobiles, different types of colored pencils. They can make dice. There's a map that they can color in. They've got, uh, oh, look, there's a fox. What does a fox say? Posters. Uh, they've got different types of crayons. They've got like uni crayons, like themed crayons, colored pencils, washable glue sticks, erasers. Back to these crayons, they've got pearl crayons. There's chalk behind it. The pencils, pastel crayons. Cosmic crayons. So they are very on themes. More colored pencils. Those are the classic. I was trying to look at the cosmic crayons to see what was different. I was looking for sparkles. I don't think there was any. Washable glue in colors. The yellow, the pink, red, the green. And the blue. We have a crayon box. I don't think that's Crayola, though. I think that was just there. A sticker book for Crayola. There was more creatures behind it. The pencil bags by Crayola. And then these were Magic, uh, Model Magic. It looks like a, a blend jet, some... Thing. I don't know, but they came in a few different colors. And then we have a coloring pack of creatures. And then Crayola bath bombs. Really? Crayola bath bombs. Oh, they were slime and stuff in those bags. Crayola construction paper. And then washable markers, the super tip bold washable markers. And then we have a bunch of phone accessories. All kinds of colors of corded earbuds, buds, the lighter chargers, and then some phone charger cords and cases at the bottom. That about covers it for everything at the Dollar Tree. Thank you so much for shopping with me at the Dollar Tree. I hope you liked all of the merchandise that I've included this week. It was a bit of a hodgepodge, but that's Dollar Tree. And now, back to my wall piece. I spray painted, I think, two coats of the black spray paint on it. Got it really good all over inside the crevices everywhere. Then I spray painted a bunch that I had taken apart and separated with the silver and sparkly spray paint on it. After that, I took some holographic spray paint and did like three coats of that. Then I used the glue gun to put all of the separated pieces around where I had stuck the mirror in the very center. The mirror, by the way, is a Dollar Tree candle holder mirror I got. I was looking at these beads to trying to decide what to use. At first, I liked the gold ones, but I ended up removing them completely and only used the silver ones. This was by far the scariest part for me. I used a wall hanger for a picture along with super glue and a hot glue gun to attach it. And that's how I hung it. And this is the final piece. As you can see, I put the little crystals all around the in, inside of it closest to the mirror. I think it turned out beautiful. I'm really happy with it. I have it hanging over my bed. So if it falls, it's going to crack me right in the head. All of it. It's going to come down. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I love making these. Please share the video, like the video, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you again. I forgot to add in the video that an amazing YouTuber who goes by Dazzling Designs by Denise is the one who gave me the inspiration for the clothespin wall art. I will include a link to her YouTube page below. Thanks again.